Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Farm series here, episode 5 on Ravenport. And yes, we upgraded our horses quite a bit off camera. So we now have 8 total horses. Things are booming here on the farm. And Garrett, we need to we need to ride our most favorite horses. We might get some horse trainers down here. Uh now because we have so so many so many horses here. How's it going, Garrett? It's going good. It's going good. Happy to be back on Snuffy. How's Clarence doing right now? Clarence Clarence is doing great. He's doing great. And I thought Snuffy died last episode. What? What? Yeah, we we got ripped no, in the comments okay. everywhere. No, no. Snuffy has really strong legs. And Snuffy is completely okay, even though although he fell off a full cliff. Totally uh. not by me not knowing how to steer him, him at all. But yeah, no. By himself, he just casually fell off. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. So Snuffy's just a bad horse. Anyway, we got Rocky still back at the at his little house there, and I'm gonna take a quick tour of what's going on uh, on episode five here on the farm. We are probably going to I don't know if Clarence will be done riding, uh, but here is our oat fields, and we combine these fields. So we combined what exactly fields are they? It is fields 25, 26, and then this is all oats. We do need to get the fertilizer going, or sorry, the pesticide. Uh, and we have oats down in that field as well. So we're going to be sitting pretty on oats and a few other crops. And then we have grass planted in our other field. And then huge announcement, guys. Today's video, we are going to be combining field 14, 15, 16, and 17 with the new tractor. We're going to go We're gonna go look at that tractor shortly after we get Clarence. His riding done. How's Snuffy? Snuffy's doing good. I'm going to go check the percent. Snuffy's doing good. The legs are all good. Uh, 27% so far. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so uh, they are now worth $16,000. So here's actually a comparison. Again, I lived, um, we're just figuring this out now. First time being a rancher. So they started off $2,000, uh, all these horses. And now, so this is day one for Lena. She she doubled in price there. And then obviously we're going up to the big bucks. I wonder what they're going to be worth when it's all said and done very exciting stuff that's gonna be that's gonna be cool to see i'm gonna go ahead and put clarence back he's gotten some writing in but we need we need more time with him for sure uh off screen so there we go we got our daily riding in i like I, it i like it i need i'm gonna go over and actually should i ride clarence over to yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that i this is actually gonna be really cool guys <laughs> now we have horses to go to and from where we want to go I like it. Do you want me to come up with you, or should I stay down at the farm? Uh, it's so yeah. You can come up with me just to finish off, uh, Snuffy there. Okay, watch the water tank. Yeah, yeah. So we filled this field rest with grass, and then we will be doing, um, we'll be getting some bales from there as well. Hay bales. Okay, we'll have to tet it too. We got to remember to do that, and we can really expand this field too, Garrett. If we just take out these trees. We can oh, really yeah. expand the farm. So let's go. We got a big project here today. Uh, and then we're going to, Garrett's going to be mostly putting down pesticide and crop protection as well. Pretty which cool. We kinda, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Garrett took his vest off so that we don't look <laughs> the same. That is good yeah. to see. Yeah. But I do like your purple. Um, I do like that purple there. I think whoever chose your outfit, pretty stylish. Yep, we both went the wrong yep, way. We both went the wrong way. <laughs> I just realized that as well. Uh, but it's not it's not the worst here. The horses are pretty good uh, at going on these trails. These back trails are kind of weird. We got to go up like these S, S roads up these cliffs. But if you guys are enjoying Let's Farm, make sure to smash the like button. We are going to get in the T7 we have. Oh, yeah, I just announced it a little. You guys <laughs> saw it in the thumbnail. The T7, we got a brand new tractor. We're straying away a little bit from the John Deere's, trying to change it up. And you guys will see the configurations we have on that bad boy. We upgraded the engine as well. And then if we just go straight here, Garrett, we're starting. Yeah, it actually might take me a long time to <laughs> combine all of these 14, 15, 16, and 17. It's going to be awesome Ooh. when it's all done. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be very good. Pretty cool. Uh, guys, like the fact that now we have all this new farmland, think about how we started, guys, in episode one. We only had episode five now, and we're, have, we have so much more land. We now have all these horses. We start off without even a horse pen or like anything. Uh, just so much more is going on now, which I love. All right. So I'm here at the T7. We're almost finished up on this first little patch. I was doing it off camera to see, and we did get a new, we got a new implement here. So these are the. Uh,
This is the Titan 18 with the sparred out mold boards. So that's uh, a little upgrade there. So here Ooh, we go, I guys. I like it. I like it. I, I got to give the proper intro to the new Holland T7. Check this bad boy out. We did upgrade Ooh. the engine to a, to a 315. Okay, let's do a little first person. Cab looks super nice. We have duels in the front and the rear. This is going to be, Garrett, this is going to be our big, like, this is going to be our PC equipment whenever we're doing something really big. Obviously, plowing like this um, T8 is going to be our biggest tractor so far. I like it. I like it. So should I go ahead and grab um, some some equipment so we can get rid of these weeds? Not now because we, okay, yeah, we, so we bought the fields. They were cultivated when we got them and they just grew some weeds. So right now I'm um, plowing them together and then we are going to plow these fields still need plowed. If I jump off yeah. right here, you can see field info. These need plowed. So we're going to have to plow this ground as well. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just combining the fields right now. Because okay. if I hire out a worker, which we're going to, we're most likely going to hire, hire out a worker, it's going to have to, the, the worker's going to turn around if we don't combine these fields. And I just want to combine them now that we're here. <laughs> yeah. If that works. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. If you want to jump into our sprayer you can and spray the our field 25 and 26 okay so fields that are down there yep they're in half they're halfway through the growing process and then they are yeah they have a lot of weed so we're gonna need to uh spray some crop, crop protection some pesticide on them okay sounds good there we go perfect we don't have any insecticide we don't need it for <laughs> these bad boys but there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and lift up there. Let me know what you guys think of the T7. This was a big decision. Uh, I asked our Discord what they would want to see, and I gave them a few options between... Um, I didn't... I'm sure if I would have picked John Deere, they would have <laughs> picked it, but I gave them options between a Challenger, a Case, and then the New Holland, and they were able to pick the New Holland, which I actually like that pick, and I'm enjoying it so far. Especially because we got the Titan on there. Kind of the color scheme is matching. There we go. Yeah, Garrett, that, those fields shouldn't take you too long. We have a... Uh, our machine is pretty big for those yeah. small fields, which works good. Yeah, guys, like, you wondered why we got such big equipment. It's because, obviously, now with these new fields, we got, like, 15, 16, 14, all those ones we got. Now we actually need to fully utilize the size of them. Um, but, yeah, we were just kind of, like, planning for the future. And we did have to add in some side money off camera, uh, unfortunately. But we are back. We're pretty much going to keep it like this, uh, this amount right now. We have eight, uh, $86,000, which is pretty, which isn't bad at all. We did add in some money, but we took it out. We just bought, we, we added in money that we need, we needed to do a few upgrades. So there we go, Garrett. I am combining a few things here, and then I'm going to hire out. The worker, I'm a little worried that the worker is still going to turn around because he's going to sense <laughs> that we already plowed it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, he might. At least the first time might. But then once we go and do it in the future, they should be kind of able to understand how we have everything set up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go, boys. We might. I don't know. I, I was thinking we might lease some vehicles, but I don't think we'll need to. All right, let's flip the plow around and then get into position here. I want to make sure that I get as much land as I possibly can. So just making sure you already did field 24, just 25 and 26 that have to be done, correct? Nope. Uh, I only did a little, little, little section of 24. Just go oh. ahead, spray over it twice. It's not gonna, it's not really gonna hurt anything, and I don't want to miss. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure I yield, guys, because if you don't spray uh, pesticide there, you, I'm pretty sure. It's a, I can actually look like super quick. By the way, guys, if you're new to farming, this is your, this is your guide. This is your guide. So let's go. We can go to lime and herbicide. Yeah, it's herbicide. Oh, where's our, anyway, in, in there, I believe it was 15%. We do not want to lose that 15% yield. Yeah. Super important. Definitely, definitely. Okay, this thing is so big. Having like this repair shed here and stuff it's just like it's almost like in the way <laughs> yeah you got to be careful with the repair shed it's kind of hard to maneuver in there yeah oh yeah it is 
It is like just blocking. There we go. Should be good now. Perfect. Okay. Turned her on. We're going. There we go. Good man. I'm about done with my third strip here. And then I'm going to, yeah, I'm thinking we'll just hire out the worker. And things should be going pretty smoothly. I love, I love the duels. The T7 just, it just feels right. It feels like a beast. We did upgrade the engine to kind of fit the look to the, to the 315, like I said earlier. Let's go ahead and load this back down. There we go. Beautiful. If you guys are enjoying, make sure to smash the like button. And uh, yes, a lot more Let's Farms coming. And throw in the comments if you guys want to see anything in particular about the game. I know some, almost like everybody has it by now if they were wanting to get it when it first came out. But I know some of you guys don't or some of you guys are new to the game and want to see stuff in, in, like, in particular. And then also I did come out with a tutorial on how to fly. Super important if you guys want to, how to learn how to fly on PC only. I, I showed that as well, so it's actually super easy. Garrett even yeah. got it. Yeah, I did. I did. Very yeah, good. we also got. Just gonna throw this out there. I did a money tutorial, so if you guys are ever needing a bit more money in game, you can check that out. I think I'll, also the squad did one too. So maybe just watch both of them. There we go. So you fully understand it. <laughs> you did it better. So yes, I'm gonna start hiring it out, and I finished up my strips there, Garrett, and I'll come back to help you out. We gotta, we gotta do a few things here. Okay. Right, I might I might just continue to plow with the T7 for a little bit longer, but we'll kind of... I might just start the hired worker and then kind of see how things go. Yeah. And then it's Sounds nice good. that these weeds came in because we're going to be able to turn them over and we don't need to spray. I like it. I like it. I love having this big field now just be all one. And it's going to be even crazier when we have like all those fields you're working on right now just be one solid piece of land yeah i'm pretty much what we're gonna do guys is we're we're gonna dedicate this huge field now yeah like you said it, it oh i need to turn off create a field I accidentally just created a little field <laughs> uh, okay limit two fields okay let's not do that again we made a little you guys see that mess that i kind of made there and so we don't miss anything all right there we go Good work, boys. The T7, again, let me know what you think. I think it's awesome. Uh, we are straight away from John Deere, and I'm trying to figure out what is my second favorite brand, and it's either Case or New Holland, and I'm going to, if we do get a new tractor anytime soon, new combine, we're probably going to get a Case. So just a heads up there. Um, yeah, that is Pretty the move. Cool. Yeah, I got, I'm, I'm making that same decision as you are. Like, I'm, I still can't decide really what my favorite is. <laughs> And one of the big things too, I do want to get more multiplayer going. If we, when we do farming live streams, we're a lot of time we're going to be contracting at work just to make side money, and we'll have a lot of helpers on. And that is where you guys step in. So make sure to join my Discord, and we will let you know if we're streaming ahead of time. And if you ever want to play with me, that will be a thing. So make sure you're you're there if it happens. It's very important if you guys want to play that you're on the Discord. That is the that's the best way to do it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on right now. There's the spinnery and the restaurant is in high demand. Ooh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and hire out the worker once I make this straight pass here. And then I'm gonna go deliver all of our wheat that we have and see how much money we can make. Here. Okay. Uh it was the restaurant that was in high demand. So we can look here, guys. Go to our commodity sheet. Here's restaurant. Okay, wheat is selling for, here's wheat. We have 4,550. Uh, obviously, that's really not a lot, but we can sell it for 681. I believe it has gone up. That's and what that's we like to hear. <laughs> pretty much it. That's the only That's the only grain we have to, guys. So yeah. that's all we can really sell. But I do want to get out there and get our nose in there and start making a little bit of profit. Yeah, guys, if you've watched till this part of the video, I think, I think we want to tell you guys a little bit of a teaser for what the next videos are going to be. Since you guys are obviously pretty dedicated for watching this far into the video. So, I, I believe next video we might be servicing some of our vehicles just because we realized a few of them are are not not, do, not doing the best, we'll say, with um, with their performance. And they're definitely needing some tune-ups. And then I think we might also be working on some chicken stuff in the future. I know we've talked about that since we started the series, but I think we're almost 
yes, ready sir. to start that. Let's get some chickens in here. Let's lay some eggs. Go sell her. Uh, and eggs are, are selling pretty good, too. So if we really blow that up. And chickens are so easy to take care of. That's something that we can knock out, like, really quick. That'd yeah, so I, fun. I just finished spraying the field. I'm just folding her back up. And then I'll park this thing. Perfect. Okay, I'm trying to hire out this worker. Seems like I need to make a full lap. And then I'm going to jump in the grain truck right after this. And we're going to go uh, cash out all, all of our wheat that we have. Which won't be a lot, but we'll kind of see what we can get for it. That's the thought process there. Okay, I'm, I'm bringing this thing down our steep little uh, inclines right now. So I have to go nice and slow. <laughs> Oh, our little divots that we yeah that we have those are those are not fun, especially uh, in guys, a vehicle like that. Yeah, we hope on getting them fixed in the future. Uh, we're really hoping somebody, some awesome modder out there, makes some way so we can modify like the land height a bit better. Because if that happens, we will 100% be working to make this be as flat as we can. Because it is just it's a bit unrealistic right now. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, we would love to fix it. So the move is now, Gary. I'm in the Hulk. We're gonna go hook up to the grain trailer, and I am curious to see how much how much we're gonna get. Obviously, super small field. I believe we only planted this field right here with uh, field 24. Very small. I I, I think it's an AM 1.2 acres. Not even. Uh, we're gonna see how much we can make for that because the restaurant is is ready for us to sell. Ooh, sounds good. Sounds good. I wonder what they need this wheat for. Are they, I don't know. They gotta make it up here. Yeah. Maybe we can okay. go to a restaurant after we eat. Maybe we get a little Ooh. deal if we if we supply them with their wheat. Maybe we, maybe we get uh, half off like a burger or something. Okay, but we're not giving them any kind of discount price on our product in order to true. get a they, in order to get like a burger or something. Well, this is okay. such a small load here too. I <laughs> yeah. don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll just go deliver it here for fun. It kind of make our first grain sale of of the farm's history, which is kind of exciting and. If we ever are to transfer to a map, what we're going to do, guys, is have this the exact same amount of money, exact exact same vehicles and how much land we have, how many like acres, and then we, we will uh, um, just transfer that over to a different map. So if you guys are ever curious about what the plans look like in the future for farming, that's kind of our plan, I guess. Pretty cool. Beautiful. There we go, guys. Let's keep her moving. And there... That's the spinnery to our right. The restaurant is not far either. I, everything's in close, cl like very close to the farm, even though the farm is like on the far southeast side. Yeah, you guys, we have a pretty good location. It's pretty, it's a pretty prime area for a farm to be at. And we still feel like we're we're pretty private. Like we don't see too many yeah. people driving, and we're kind of tucked away, which is cool as well. Okay, here comes the restaurant. Our first Ooh. sale, Garrett. Magical. Right, I like it, it I like it. Let's see how much we get. We're on the front. There we go. We'll go ahead and unload our wheat. Okay, so we're right now just under $86,000. All right, we and... got 3K, and it, it was a super Ooh. small load, so at least we were able to cash in on that. Crank I it like it, here. I like it. I, I came over to, to assist with the sale. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got a super got, tight oh, corner here. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm right here. You almost backed up into me. I think I'm just going to back up all the way. There's no point in making okay. that turn. It's just so tight. Yeah. Yeah. You almost backed up into me, though. I had to floor it. <laughs> it's a bit we got to pay attention, boy. We can't. All right. You're trying to draft, draft off me or something. All right. Let's go ahead and back up here. And, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of cool. That was not an FS-17 for sure. There are many different unloading places that are, like, realistic. Like, obviously, I guess we some big restaurants you might like Cisco goes to, but not really directly to the grid. Anyway, the restaurant was pretty cool um, there as well. Let's go ahead. The spinnery does not have what we, I guess we're all out of grain. Yeah. So we will be harvesting here shortly and getting things underway. There's a construction site we just passed. That's pretty cool. There we go. They, they might need help in the future and we, we can for sure help them, guys. This is going to wrap up today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. For those who stuck to the end, I appreciate you. I will see you guys in the comments. Give me some feedback. We'd love to hear it, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good Thanksgiving.